guys, my name is Marcel, and this video will learn how to open assembly session on Powered by Desktop, so uh, working with the terminal of Windows, then execute a command, get the value returned by executing the command, and then end the session of SEMD. So here on Powered by Desktop, we have actions to work with SEMD in background. So using these actions, we can basically work with SEMD without uh, opening so the application like we can see here. So it's our background, which is better. So first we have to open a SMD session and to open a SMD session, we have to use the action open SMD session. So we can see it here. So let's drag this action to our automation. And then we have the option to indicate the working folder. So if you want to open the SMD from a certain folder that we want to work in, we can indicate here the folder, so it's optional. And then we can see here on variables producer that will be created a variable SMD session that represents so the session on SMD. And it's really needed to automate so uh, the SMD because the other actions will require these variables. So let's click now on save and we can see here the variable now if we execute our automation we wouldn't see nothing so but we can see here on our variable if we do here double click we can see here uh, the property is alive to true so that means that this same session was started so if we now uh, drag the action close in this session that uh, we will use it on the end so here we have to provide the variable that represents the CMD session. It's already selected. So if we click now on save and execute our automation, we can check here on our variable that uh, so the property is alive. It's too false because uh, this action closed the CMD session. So now between these two actions, we will execute the actions that will write uh, the comment and then the one that will extract uh, the text returned by executing the comment. So let's close this window. And now to execute a comment on SMD session, let's use the action write to SMD session and let's drag it between these two actions. And now first we have to provide the SMD session variable, it's already selected. And, and now here on comment we have to provide so the comment that we want to execute on SMD. So in this case, let's use the ipconfig. So basically this command returns information about the network. And then here we have the option to send enter after command. So we want this to be true because we want to execute a command. So let's leave like this. And now let's uh, save so uh, the window. So to save the configuration. So by this way, our automation will open the SMD session, execute the command, and then close the SMD session. So now to get the result from the command, let's use the action read from SMD session. Let's drag this action after the write to SMD session, so to get the value returned after execute the command. And so we have to provide the SMD session variable. And then on the parameter separate output from error, it's option that enables us to get the output from the common separated from uh, possible errors that can appear uh, when executing the comments. So as we can see here, it's created two variables, the CMD output that will get the output from the command, and then a CMD error if happens to uh, some error when executing the comment. So it's optional. Let's just disable so this parameter. And then here on variables producer, we can see that we'll be created a variable CMD output that will return so the CMD session standard output right after so execute our command. So let's save. So now let's execute our automation. So our automation should open the CMD session, execute the command read from the SMD session, so get the output from the command and then close the SMD session. So let's test. So let's click on run. And now we can see here on SMD session, 
And now we can see here on scene the outputs that we got. So the result from executing the command. So we can see here the result. So it's working as it should be. So I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more RPA related videos. Bye bye.